So here we are. We've got a special guest this morning, day three, Ambienta 2018. Uh, ben and the Facebook Live team here with Thomas from the Ambienta team. Really great to have you this morning. Can you please maybe say who you are, what you're doing here, and what's your, your uh, contribution to the Ambienta every year? Okay. My official name is Thomas Kastler. Thomas was Kastler responsible for the Ambienta, Mr. Dining. Dining is the biggest section of Ambienta. Ambienta, what you see here at the moment, is a show with uh, 4,441 exhibitors out of 89 countries, which is 81% international. We never had before. That's a big number, isn't it? Yes, so, it I mean, traditional mar brands like Meissen, for example, German manufacturers. Yes, yes. And Meissen is one of the most important uh, manufacturers, and manufacturers mean something different in German as it is in, in English. So it's handmade, handicraft, but not handicraft in a cheap way. It's very, very expensive, and we are very proud to have Meissen here. It's the oldest manufacturer of Germany. Oh, I didn't know that. Where, really? Okay. Where else, where's Meissen based? In Meissen. In Meissen. It's actually... Just for the people who aren't from Germany, yeah, again, Australian, so that, that's in Saxon. Saxon. In Saxon, yes. So as we walk through this area here, it would be great just to hear your thoughts as to, as to uh, again, 81% is, is a big number of international guests. Please uh, do tell us a few words about what that means and, and why that's so important. For example, here on the right-hand side, you have Lunville. It's a manufacturer from, from France. Here you see a company who's doing, for example, Horeca. Horeca is getting more and more important for Ambiente uh, as it's really professional business in bigger quantities. Can you tell me a little bit about Harika? I mean, that sounds, is that a brand or what, what does Harika actually mean? It stays for hotel, restaurant and catering. In, in the Anglo-Sax, in the English re, uh, area, you talk also about hospitality. Just uh, great, to, great to know the details of the, uh, of the, of the, the I'll call the abbreviations. And what are we seeing around here? We've got uh, for Tessa. For Tessa, this is uh, one of the big manufacturer professional uh, manufacture for catering, hotel, restaurant, catering. It's not so well known uh, for the small retail business. This is really a professional uh, company dealing for the Horeca. And Horeca is growing, it's very important. And all these things come from different food trends. Food trends are responsible for changes in the hotels and restaurants and catering. That's a really interesting point. I was going to ask, so when you talk about, I'll say, normal consumer goods, so the, the, the plates and stuff for the home use and the, and the, the, the restaurants and, and, and hotel industry, when you talk about trends, how, how does that overlap? And is there, is there a, do the trends from the hotels eventually make it into the homes? Or how, how does it, is, there, is there a way that works back and forth? Oh, when, when you see 20 years ago, you had only a plate and you had a piece of meat and the vegetables and potatoes, it, it was boring. Today, it's completely different. You have these different tastes, it's international, it's cross-culture. And so uh, also the restaurants, they, they would like to be different. It's, it's boring to have always the same things. And that's why they do uh, these uh, things. They, they do workshops with the, with the chefs together one time per year and, and work new ideas for their restaurants. Well, I think that we, we actually had a look in Hall 11 yesterday. There was lots of different table decorations and ways of actually creating the experience on a table. Not so much just to eat, but actually the whole table provided an experience. And I think that's what you're talking about, correct? So what, what new experiences can, can the hotels offer? At the moment, they would like to be like it is handicraft. So you see plates, they should seem like they are handmade but they need quantities, big quantities, and so it must be an in industrial production. But it and looks like uh, they, it's handmade. And then the industrial, pr I mean, if I look at the, the hotel industry, the type of place get used for a lot longer, so the materials are similar as well, or what's the...? Materials are also different. When you see a, a plate, for example, it must be very, very hard uh, because of the dishwasher, and it's not only for, for use them, uh, three times per week or so. It's, it's to have them for a longer time and so they need to be very hard, very strong, different materials, but at the same time very, very clear. Uh, for example, the fine bone china is getting more and more important and manufacturers also like uh, Gion, they do it in, in ceramics, uh, are looking for that Horeca production to make it more individual. So fine bone china, is that, is that um, a material that's coming back? Uh, you're noticing that coming back in the, this year's Ambienta? Yes, because it's, it's very strong. It's, it's not a new trend. The newest trend, I would say, is the handicraft-made things, or look like hand, handcrafted, uh, 
fine bone china was for a longer time, but from the food trends, all the, the, the things on the table can be different. It must be not one, um, one um, part of the of a whole serie, mm -hmm. <laughs> series. Uh, so it's it's uh, it can be uh, the 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 starter can be something different as the main course, and at the end you have a glass and the dessert is in the glass. So it's yeah. different. Very very cool. So you've actually um, we've actually arrived at a special cafeteria. I mean the Ambientes gives a lot of effort to every year to sort of create spaces where all these different um, peep, uh, stands can come, drink a coffee, have a relax from the, from the busy day. Um, you've actually organised one of the designers as well, haven't you? We can meet them. Yes, and we try to find the right designers from <laughs> special partner countries. We have a partner country at the moment is the Netherlands. And Dutch is uh, very, very important for design, so we selected uh, the Dutch as partner country this year. Uh, here, for example, we have Royal Delft. Uh, they are doing Horeca, once again, this hotel restaurant catering, and they are from our partner country. And on the opposite side, we have this wonderful restaurant, and oh, I see there's the designer <laughs> who has made that. Uh, Happens to be sitting there, that's really fantastic. <laughs> fantastic uh, to have you here. Uh, it's a wonderful area, wonderful restaurant, very light, very clear. And good to see you Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Ben Wilson from Facebook uh, Ambiente Live yeah, team. Yeah. Hello, Hi. pleasure. Hi. <laughs> so um, we've just had a really nice walk through some of the halls. So I really appreciate your time this morning, Thomas. Thank you for taking time for Facebook Live team. And uh, enjoy the rest of the show. We might see you around the hall somewhere. Fine. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. Hi, lovely to meet you. And we're standing in your design here. Yes. Cool. It's not like designers have to create objects for shelves. You created an actual space, didn't you? Can you maybe tell us a little bit about yourself and what you've created here? Yeah, I'm an interior designer from the Netherlands and I was asked, because the Netherlands is the partner country, to uh, design the cafe in Hall 4 uh, and I call it the Infinity Cafe. Uh, I wanted to create a place where you can get some quiet, quietness and neutral uh, neutralize from all the impression that you get on the fair. So that's why I choose for a nude color and a really light atmosphere. Uh, and I created little corners where you can relax and hide away a little bit. It's obvious also not Enclosing. No, exactly. Open, At the same time, it's very open, yeah. so you, you still, still see, the see their stands, and uh, so it's it's open uh, atmosphere. But at the same time, you have those cozy corners where you can hide away. So uh, yeah. And partner country, yeah. um, is that exciting? Is that a special thing? Yes, of course. It's it feels very special uh, to be like uh, yeah, more in focus and uh, to tell people about how beautiful the Netherlands is and what we all have to offer. So. Well, we, uh, we, in Hall 11, there was a bunch of the smaller stands with the, with the partner land. I saw those, uh, I think, on the first day on Friday. And they were very, very impressive, the little uh, almost boutique sort of stores. Have you been down to Hall 11, had a look yes, yet? Yes, yeah, it's really, I think, it's my favorite hall, Hall 11. Mine too. Yeah, yeah, yours too, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Now, when I, when I look up, I see a, a date which says 1653 with the name Royal Delft. That sounds very, very Dutch, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, that is... I'm very proud to be next to Royal Delft, that my cafe is next to Royal Delft. That wasn't planned, or was that...? No, it wasn't planned. I was like, oh, I'm here next to Delft. <laughs> And I, I'm a big fan of the blue and white ceramics uh, that they make. Uh, and yeah. So let's, go, let's go have a look. Yeah, please do. Yeah. Now, you just mentioned the blue and white as, yeah. as, as being uh, the traditional. I mean, yeah. can you explain a little bit what that means to people who don't, I mean, people who don't live in Europe, uh, what that actually means, where the things come from? Yeah, actually, uh, we stole it from the Chinese. So Borrowed, yeah, we were inspired and, and by. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, uh, in that century, we traveled a lot. We, d we did a lot of uh, uh, yeah, deals with, with China. So we took the, the blue and white uh, idea from them and did our own thing with it. So this is a really traditional piece, uh, tulip face. And this is a unique piece, hand painted. So it's very wow. special. Um, How long would that take? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, there's a guy sitting there painting now a, ta no. a tableau. I will go and talk so to him in a minute. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> me in a minute. But it, it would take uh, yeah, a very long time, so it's really precise work. But this is very special as yeah. well, because here they uh, did a modern version of the Dells Blau. 
So they asked three designers to uh, give the traditional pieces a modern twist so they can live through in uh, this time. So I think and this is new. This is new to the ambiente this, this year. Uh, yes, exactly. This is very brand new. Uh, uh, yeah, from the brand. So it's uh, they launch it here on the fair, and I think it's very special. I think it's it's a it's a really impressive modern interpretation, something which is very decorative and very uh, I'll say overwhelming. It, it, yeah. it's, it's in your face. But when I look at this, I still see the same emotional connection to the yeah. story. Yeah. Um, but in a very, very minimal, minimal manner. Minimal way, yeah, exactly. So I think, uh, yeah, it's a really good thing that this company does that as well. Yeah. yeah. So you said there's an artist over here doing some work. What's he actually doing? In the gray paints, but later on when they glaze it, do I say it right? Yes, then it turns, glazing, yep, yep. Then it's turning blue, right? Do I say it right? Yeah. Can you explain it? Can you explain a little bit about how that works? Is, is there a content, an ingredient inside the grey that makes it go blue? What you see here is the is the black paint, and that is the only paint I work with. I mix it with just plain water to make all the grey shades. And the more water I add to the paint, the lighter the color grey will be. So later on, when it's completely finished, uh, I take it down piece by piece. And there are 42 tiles in this tile picture. Then all together they go into the kiln. And uh, with a glaze on it, it will be in the, in the kiln for about 24 hours. And uh, then it turns blue. That's a chemical process. Because this paint, what you see here, it contains cobalt oxide. And co yeah, cobalt oxide turns blue in the kiln. It's a, it's a chemical process. So it's, 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 it's a very, very time intensive process. Not only the drawing of the, the sketch, yeah. then the, the contours of the shades, yeah. and then the 24 hours in the kiln. And who, who's, who has the pleasure of actually having this in their home? Or what's this going to be used for? Do you know yet? Uh, I think it's going to be in our uh, own factory, museum, uh, shop. Uh, I'm not sure where it's yeah. going. In with, the, in with a big photo of you. Uh, probably, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and my name will be on it. <laughs> yeah. well, congratulations, incredible work. Uh, I might come by tomorrow and see how far you've got in, the, in another 24 hours. I'm here uh, until the end of the fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck and enjoy the rest of the process. I'm looking forward to seeing the finished product. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. So, um, so many traditions, right? I love it that it's still alive. Yes. This tradition and yeah, all the handmade, all the hand painted uh, objects. And they are all hand painted. They are all unique pieces here, so it's all hand painted. So it's incredible. I'm very proud of this. So yeah. Well, you should I be. It's a tradition. And again, I think what what impresses me is of course, again the the tradition, the length of time it's been manufactured in, in this manner. Um, the story where it came from, yeah. but also that it's also being interpreted newly in the, in, the, in the modern world in a more contemporary sort of minimal manner. Yeah. Um, that impresses me very, very much. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'm happy that you see it that way as well. <laughs> so well, you and I are going to go for another walk now. We're going to see what else, what else we can find to talk about. Well, I think we'll sign off to the Facebook Live uh, viewers yeah. and uh, have a great afternoon. We'll see you at the next station. Uh, remember, we're at Hall 4.1. And this is the partner country called Royal Delft at uh, F20. If you would like to come and buy and see the, uh, the painting being completed, do so during the day. Okay, take Thank care. You. Bye.